Are you a shitty, spineless leech on society? Are you okay with taking advantage of everybody around you? Do you walk into the kitchen at the same time as your roommate, look at the sink full of dirty dishes, say, hey bro, someone should probably do those, and then walk away? Do you want to be rewarded for it? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then Warlock is the class for you. You may ask, why not Mage? Why not Hunter? Why not any other range class with literally any mobility at all? Let me get the fuck out of here. People like to say that the demons are the most unique part of the class. Champion! Azeroth cries out for your aid. But in reality, it is the ability to hold on to a raid spot despite being a dog shit player. This is all because of health stones. Health stones are a free health potion that you can give to all members of your raid. Mages like to bitch, moan, and complain about being a vending machine, but warlocks silently perform their duty. They show up to the raid, bag full of soul shards, ready to make and trade health stones to everybody. Babe, it's time for your four hour soul shard farming session. Yes, honey. This isn't the only exclusive warlock perk. We can also summon party members, and we don't have to go outside of the raid to do it. We exist so that when your off tank shows up drunk 10 minutes late, you can get him into the raid instantly. It took us about 10 minutes to clear the trash anyway, and at least this time you didn't have to listen to the off tank's TV in the background blasting Tucker Carlson at max volume because he is ideologically against push to talk. Dude, what the fuck is that? Spitting my tobacco. Could you at least use push to talk? I can't do that because my headset's wireless and I like to go out on my porch sometimes. It's where I'm at right now. Perhaps the best thing about Warlock is our battle res, the Soul Stone. We can put it on a party member of our choosing before a fight, and if they die, they can instantly resurrect. This is perfect for that one healer who refuses to move out of a mechanic because they don't want to interrupt their tranquility. But then they proceed to die and bitch and moan about their tranquility being interrupted anyway. Other uses for soul stone include soul stoning yourself, soul stoning a healer so that they can mass res after wipes, or forgetting to soul stone anybody at all. It's not my fault. Who's soul stoned? We do have a soul stone up, don't we? All of these things combined make you irreplaceable. It doesn't matter how awful Warlock is. You can have the IQ of a brain dead Neanderthal and do negative DPS. As long as you can drop health stones, you will have a raid spot. So now you've chosen to play a Warlock, but what specialization should you choose? When it comes to choosing a spec, you really have to consider a few pros and cons. Luckily, I am here to help you choose. The first question you need to ask yourself when you choose a Warlock spec is, what raid responsibility do I want to completely ignore? If you hate attacking literally anything but the boss, then Demonology is the best bet for you. Make sure to use the Felguard here. When the raid leader asks you to switch adds, tell them that that's not how your class works, and that by the time all of your demons have switched targets to the add, the add will already be dead. Because of this, you will lose DPS if you switch to the add. Just treat the boss like a target dummy and tunnel vision to your heart's content. If you hate interrupting, then it's time to go destruction. Make sure to use the imp who does not have an interrupt. If your raid leader asks you to interrupt, tell him that you don't have one. As a bonus, destruction is one of the most brain dead specs in the game, eclipsed by only the beast mastery hunter. If you want the best of both worlds, then you need to play Affliction Warlock. The best demon is the Imp, who does not have an interrupt, and most of your damage comes from many dots on the target. These dots take time to ramp up, so you can claim that yet again, the target will be dead by the time you get all of your dots on it. No interrupts, no adds, only downside is that Affliction is probably the hardest Warlock spec to play. Don't be discouraged though. Remember what the first lesson we learned was. Even if you have the mechanical skills of a disabled baboon, you will have a raid spot if you can provide health stones. We haven't even talked about the best part of Warlock yet, our mobility. 
To demonstrate, I want you to find one friend, one sledgehammer, and one basketball. Give your able-bodied friend the sledgehammer, get down on the ground, and lay flat on your back. Now it's time for your friend to bring the force of God down on your kneecaps. Make sure that the only remaining bone in your knee has the consistency of a fine powder. After you've accomplished this, grab the basketball and attempt a slam dunk. Congratulations, you're now playing a warlock, where our only true mobility spell kills us. Wait, you want me to explain how to actually play the class? Uh, okay. The secret is you don't have to. Don't you get it? Just press the fucking buttons. All they need you to do is make health stones and summon people. That's the whole reason we fucking play this- Oh fuck, there's another warlock. Okay, so here's the scenario we weren't prepared for. There's another warlock in your guild. They're using every strategy that you are. Suddenly your raid spot is threatened. The raid can get their crack rocks from somebody else now. Are they better than you? Oh shit, they showed up five minutes earlier than you did to summon people. What the fuck do we do? This is not a good situation to be in, but don't panic. First of all, do not speak to the other warlock. Saying anything at all will give your hand away. You absolutely cannot trust anything that they tell you. There is a well-established mathematical theory that will give us the optimal solution to this problem. In fact, this exact situation is called the Warlock's Dilemma. In the standard Warlock's Dilemma, both Warlock 1 and Warlock 2 have a choice. They can choose to 1. Remain mediocre, or 2. Get good. Within a two Warlock system, these choices lead to one of three scenarios. Scenario 1. Shitty balance. Both Warlocks choose to remain mediocre. Together, the expectation continues to be that the Warlocks do no DPS at all. Both Warlocks keep their raid spot. Scenario 2. The Dick Down. One Warlock chooses to get good, the other does not. The shittier Warlock ends up being kicked because they are nothing but dead weight and are no longer the sole provider of health stones and summoning portals. Scenario 3. Sweaty Balance. Both Warlocks choose to get good. The expectation of Warlock DPS is increased, but because both are improving, they both keep their raid spot. So now we know what our choices and outcomes are. The goal is to put in zero effort but keep our raid spot, so scenario 1 is surely the best outcome then. This is actually incorrect. The very presence of another warlock is a threat to you, and it's only a matter of time before you're fucked. Remember, the raid only needs one warlock for health stones and summoning portals. Because of this, your only safe option is to get good. You must protect your raid spot at all costs. So how do we get good? It's easy. All you have to do to learn how to play the class is...